Alrighty, so what's going on y'all? So I went to the Goodwill outlet today. It was another Prana Frenzy. We've had like three or four of these in like the last couple of months. Found like a bunch of jeans, skirts, dresses, like some miscellaneous hiking pants, lounge pants. And if you just clicked on this video for the first time, what's up? My name is Chris. I resell full time up in Portland, Oregon. I primarily go to places like the Goodwill outlet, other thrift stores, but I usually find my best items from the bins. So let me show you guys all the Prana stuff that I picked up. Alrighty y'all, so I only paid like 60 bucks for all these right here, so that's absolutely crazy because if you shop at like the retail stores out here in Portland, they're usually trying to hawk just one pair of these Prana jeans for like 15 to 20 bucks and found a whole lot of them and the jeans are usually some of the best sellers. As you can see, got quite a bit of them right here. We got all these look like they're for the most part like in brand new condition. Looks like they've barely been worn. So got those, got like some blue ones right here. You guys can see this thing these are like the bridger pan jeans right here like the slim fit got the same kind just in the black colorway i like some more right here and so to get all these items that i got for 60 dollars it's just crazy because again like usually like if you were to buy these by themselves they're usually pretty expensive and online like you usually can sell these somewhere between like 30 and 45 bucks and so right here, got another pair. As you can see, like some of these items are actually new with tags. So you got a brand new pair of jeans right here. Easily only costs like probably like a dollar fifty, two dollars a pair. And so super cheap, great deal at the outlet on these right here. And next up are all of the Zion hiking pants right here. Most of them are like belted and they have the ability to like roll the bottoms up. And good thing about living like in the Portland metro area on any given day, you can pick and choose which outlet to go to because we got like four of them like in our surrounding area. I usually go to the airport because it's the closest to my house. But I got like a pair of the Zion pants in like the green colorway. Got like another one in like the gray. Another gray. Got like one in like this brown goldish color right here. Again, I've been selling these right here consistently between like 30 and 40 bucks. Sometimes more just depending on who's looking for them. Got like another one, got a bunch of the gray ones right here. And again, like if you were to pick these up at the retail store, they're usually really expensive. And lastly, you got like a black pair right here. So a ton of them for like super cheap. Alrighty y'all, so here's the last of it and in this selection right here you just got like a bunch of miscellaneous dresses, skirts and like some lounge pants. So we got like this dress right here with like the built in shelf bra, like a women's large. Got like I believe this Cora dress right here, women's medium like in a purple colorway. Got like a black stripe dress with like the green stripes I believe, a women's medium. Also has like the built in shelf bra. And they just got like some lounge pants and another pair of like joggers right here. And then you also got like one of the skirts, women small like in the green colorway. Got like a pair of like hiking shorts right here, women's ten. Got some more lounge pants. Looks like some more lounge pants or like joggers. And you got these like lounge pants for men's right here. These are actually brand new, a bigger size too of men's 2XL. And then lastly, you got like the Prana Summit pants. These are pretty pretty desirable. They usually sell pretty quick. It's like this one is a women's large with the tall inseam. So there you have it. Picked up all of this Prana stuff today. I mean, super cheap. Got all of this stuff for 60 bucks. And you definitely can't beat that right there. Alrighty y'all, so back at Deseret, and man the bins have been so good lately, I haven't been over here much. I think it's been like two weeks. But let's go in here and check it out. Four bucks and eight bucks. 
on these hokas they are dirty just need to be clean but after that I think these should be pretty good alrighty y'all so done in Deseret not really a whole lot in there and I was like 30 minutes late they opened up at 9 I think it's like 9 34 and a lot of these stores man you gotta like hit them like first things cause I've kinda run into like other resellers across town that don't necessarily shop at the bins, but they do the rounds at some of the thrift stores right here in Portland. And so not a whole lot in there, but couldn't pass up these hokas right here for like four bucks. Do need to like clean them up real good. But at four bucks, once you do that, I mean, somebody will still want to pick these up for a decent amount. These Nike free flight nets and man, these always sell pretty good. They're only like what eight bucks here, so easy pickup. Looks like you got these outro running shoes. Came across this brand like a month ago. It seems really good if you can find like the right models, but looks like these right here are like torn like the side. Would have been a great deal to go on like eight bucks. Dang man, I'm already on these old school golf cleats. Just sold a pair similar to these. I think I only sold them for like 40 bucks. So kept it on these those. Got like nine bucks on these Converse. Not a bad price. So I'm gonna pick these right here up. Got these Adidas, like Muhammad Ali's right here. They're like, what, nine bucks? But these actually need to be restored. I probably can fix that right here, man, but the comps on this Muhammad Ali stuff is insane. Not a lot of Ali shoes even listed, but here are like some of the soles on some of the ones that have been picked up. We got like 125, we got like 120. 150 and I think those are like a sample model so I'm gonna try to clean them up maybe try to get the toe box area maybe put back together and then get them listed and see what kind of bites I get Alrighty y'all so 2596 Seven spent in TC resale picked up three pair of shoes got like the Converse right here only like nine bucks so reasonably priced on these right here and then next you got like the Nike free fly net sell these at like a hundred miles per hour they always sell pretty good especially once you clean them up people love these things right here only spent like eight bucks on these right here so dirt cheap and then lastly you got probably like one of the dark horse finds of maybe this week. I mean, you got like these Muhammad Ali. They look like kind of like mid-top boots. And you can kind of see like, I don't know if you can see on camera, but like his name kind of and logo kind of right there. And these do need to be restored. It looks like the toe box is kind of separated. I think I, think I can get that uh, sealed back together. Need to be cleaned up. Suede needs to be touched up around the sides, but these could potentially end up being a pretty good payday. These are like a sample model. I couldn't even find anything close that looks like these online. So 
I'll get these restored probably like over the course of maybe like the next few weeks and then I'll kind of keep you guys posted on how they end up doing but I appreciate you guys for following me along today and I'll catch you guys right back here on the next video that work that work what you got buddy cherry cherries come and catch me This might be all that I know. I think it's okay. I've got a long way to grow. I might okay. Go the long way. No one taught me how to walk, but I figured it out fine.